Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you some of the products that I have been loving these last few months. Firstly, I'm going to start with a um, body wash and this one is still a little bit wet because I've used it in the shower. But this one is from Soap and Glory and it's called Sugar Crush and it's an energy boosting, citrus conditioning, fresh and foamy body wash. And I've been using this over the last few months. I am literally down to about here, so I kind of need to get some more. It has lime oil, a core capsule, X, whatever that means, um, kiwi juice water, and a skin softening omega rich veggie oil. I love Soap and Glory, I love their packaging. They always have like really quirky names for their products. I really like this for the summer. It just, it's really great, especially when I shower either in the morning or the night. I just feel like if I shower in the morning, it wakes me up. It's just a really nice scent. And you get loads, it's like 500 ml, so yeah, it lasts ages. Sugar Crush, yeah, love Thinking it. Thinking on the body care side of things, I have gone back to um, using Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Massage Lotion, and this one is specifically for your stretch marks. So I just have a couple on the back of my thighs, and I'm, I just want to kind of minimise the appearance of them. And this has vitamin E, collagen, elastin, and shea butter, um, and it's an all over body lotion. This non-greasy all over body lotion helps improve elasticity and suppleness of stretching skin during and after pregnancy. Also recommended for stretch marks associated with weight fluctuations. And it's hypoallergenic and paraben free. So basically I just massage this all over my body after I've had a shower, especially concentrating on the back of my thighs. And I have noticed a huge difference because the stretch marks on the back of my thighs kind of looked a bit like purplish red. And now they are kind of going they're, they're paler, they're much paler and less noticeable. So I'll let you know how I, I keep going on with this, but I love it. I mean, I love Palmer's in general. I love the smell. Um, it just, oh, if you love the smell of cocoa butter and you haven't tried Palmer's, seriously, you need to get it in your life. It's incredible. This smells slightly different to the um, normal Palmer's. In fact, I feel like it smells a little bit sweeter and less it's not as strong as um, the regular Palmer's, that's just how I feel about it anyway. But this, along with bio oil, is really helping out with the stretch marks on my thighs. Let's stick with kind of moisturising style products. What I've got here is the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Base Concentrate. That's what it looks like there. This is like a super shiny, super metallic primer. Let me just like... I've got swatches all over my hands. I'm actually wearing it today. I haven't actually got highlight on my cheeks. I put this on before my foundation, and I've even powdered. I put um, a foundation I'm using is my Mac Studio Fix in NW10, and then I used my Studio Fix powder over the top very lightly in NW10. NW10, ugh, tongue tied. And the Lumi Magique is still showing through, so I've not actually got any highlighter on my face. This is all from this, which is underneath my foundation. So yeah, I'm. I think this is brilliant for highlighting. Uh, if you can see that in the back of my hand, it's really metallic and you need you don't really need much of it. There's actually not it's not like the hugest bottle. How much do you get in here? You get 20 ml in there, but you don't need much of it. A little goes a long way, but it just adds a really gorgeous shine. And I really love the effects that it has on my foundation. Next, I'm going to show you this, which is dirty because I've literally just used it. You will all know what this is. This is very new to me. Um, I've not tried one before. I've wanted to for so long because everybody raves about it and it is the Beauty Blender. And I got the uh, little Beauty Blender cleaning soap as well, which just, this comes up fantastic. It looks like new once you've cleaned it, which is what I'm going to do straight after this video. I applied my foundation using this and wow, I am so impressed with the results. I do, usually with this I do one layer because I find that it gives me really full coverage. Or with the Beauty Blender, I find that I actually, I don't use as much product, but I tend to do two light layers just to build it up. And it just looks incredible, like your face looks really airbrushed. I can understand why people rave about this. I'll test it out on other foundations and I'll get back to you on how I feel about them, but this with my MAC Studio Fix, I think it's probably my favourite combination now. Um, I'm just so blown away by the results. Okay, so moving on to um, ugh, dropping things. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and my colour is in Chantilly, which is the lightest colour. 
I've seen so many people talking about it and I've been watching people apply it. I've been using this under my eyes to kind of conceal spots. I have kind of a couple, like a bit of a bumpy spot there and one on my nose and it just conceals everything beautifully. I also love the colour, it's light. I actually put some down my nose because it's light enough to do that and it kind of just adds a little bit of a highlight. It does crease a little bit under my eyes. I do have a few fine lines so I do need to set that. If you're lucky and you don't have fine lines then you know you don't need to worry about that kind of thing. It comes on one of these kind of like sponge tip applicators and then that's the colour there. As you can see it's awesome, it's super light. I'm really impressed with that. I think I might even like it more than the Pro Longwear by MAC. I might like the Pro Longwear by MAC under my eyes a little bit more just because I find it doesn't crease as much as this. I mean this isn't terrible or anything when it comes to creasing but I just find it does crease a tiny bit more um, than my prolonged. So now I'm moving on to a gel eyeliner. I've been trying out a few of the drugstore um, gel eyeliners. I say a few, I've kind of, this is my second one. The last one I tried was the Rimmel one which I can't remember the name of but I'll put like a little strap line here so you'll know what I'm talking about. It was good at first but then it dried up so quick. I mean, I was literally within a couple of weeks so ugh, wasn't impressed. I then moved on to Maybelline and this is the um, iStudio Lasting Drama Gel Liner and I've had this for over a month now and it's, I love it, it's really nice. I think I prefer, I even prefer it to the Fluid Line by MAC. I love the Fluid Line by MAC but I find it's quite a dry formula where this is slightly wetter, if that makes sense. Um, so I feel like it's just easier to draw a line and it's, it's not going to drag on your eyes or anything like that. It's a really intense black. Yeah, it's lasted a lot longer than that Rimmel. I don't know whether with the Rimmel I just got a dud or something like that or it, I don't know. I love it when you find a drugstore product that you works just as well, if not sometimes better than a high-end brand. Uh, you're not only saving money, but you know you're getting good quality for it. So um, definitely check out this Maybelline Lasting Drama. I've also heard L'Oreal has one that's really good. I'll try that out and let you know how I feel about that. This is totally my favourite right now. Right, we are moving on to lip products. I've got three lip products to show you. Uh, two of them are from Lime Crime, and one is from Mac. Actually, no, I lie. I'm lying to you. Two are from MAC. I just remembered. Firstly, we are going to start with... Let's start with the lighter colours. Um, so, firstly, I've got this one from Lime Crime. It's called Great Pink Planet. Check out this packaging. It's so cute. I'm kind of new to Lime Crime. I've always seen people on YouTube using um, the products and I really like the colour selection and I can't wait. I'll try some of the more kind of... I suppose what people would call unwearable shades, whereas, I don't know, any colour goes by me. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the packaging, let's kind of line it, try and get it lined up. I think this packaging for these lipsticks is just awesome. But it's not all about packaging, it's about quality as well, and yeah, I love this. This is the colour. It's actually very similar to the jumper that I'm wearing, but it's just this awesomely cool bubblegum pink. Lighter shades on pale people, I know people get worried about being a bit washed out. I tend to compensate by putting a bit more colour onto my cheeks and face, so I'll kind of bronze and blush up a bit, just so I don't look so flat with this kind of shade, but I love it. I also use like a darker lip liner just to kind of line the outside of my lips and then blend this um, into the middle. I'll definitely do a look with this lipstick, I love it for summer, it's just an awesome um, colour and I'll definitely be getting some more Lime Crime lipsticks. The next product is... Whoa, let's stick with Lime Crime again actually. I was going to do light and then dark, but the dark colour that I've got from Lime Crime is called Wicked and this is what it looks like. It, this is um, the Lime Crime Velveteen a liquid lipstick type formula with a sponge tip applicator and it goes on quite glossy as you can see there, but once it dries, it dries completely matte but it is not drying. Um, so for example, something like MAC Ruby Woo, which is one of my favourite red lipsticks of all time, it can be quite drying and I find when I apply that lipstick, it can drag across the lips. Um, but I don't feel that with this. It just looks incredible. One thing I will say is I definitely like to use um, lip liner before I apply this just because I think it does feather slightly. You know, I know it's summer and it's all about bright colours, but I don't know, I don't really follow that pattern. Eating, drinking, unless something is super oily, this is going to last 
hours without you needing to apply it. Moving on to MAC, what should we start with? Let's stick with dark, let's stick with dark, okay. So basically I went on to MAC to look at the Kelly and Sharon Osborne collections which are completely sold out by the time I looked to be honest. But I went on the, and on the homepage I had a picture of Lord, and she had this incredible um, dark lipstick which she tends to rock a lot all the time. She pulls it off big time. Um, and it was this colour called Pure Heroin and it's, this is an amplified lipstick. Check this colour. It's just a super dark vampy purple. Let me just swatch it. It's kind of frightening and really dark here but once you swatch it it is just one of the most beautiful deep purples that I have ever seen. It's just it's just incredible. This next product is from the Kelly Osborne collection. Recently Sharon Osborne and Kelly Osborne both brought out matte collections and Sharon's packaging was like a really nice red and then Kelly's was kind of this really cool purpley lilac-y lilac? Lilac? What the hell am I saying? This was the only thing that I managed to get from the collections. Everything else had sold out but this is the lipstick that I wanted and it's the one I'm wearing right now and it is called Dodgy Girl and it is a matte but it is so creamy it is the opposite of Ruby Woo which kind of drags a bit on your lips and it's quite drying whereas this is really it's really creamy but it's matte and it's awesome let me just swatch it next to Pure Heroin oh I'm just looking at these swatches and just thinking about how much I love all of these colours um, so, so that's it there it does apply super bright this is super pigmented, it's just one of the prettiest shades I have ever seen. Like I always say, if there's anything that you want me to try out, let me know in the comments section and I will do my best. Anyway, have a great day guys and I'll see you later. Bye bye!